when you find your nerd miner without any hash rate and any date on it. Now you can go to the IP address. 192.168.4.1 If you cannot uh, overload your website, then go to here. Reset. Press this button and hold it for 6 to 9 seconds. Reset success. Then it will go to the original screen display. Here is the QR. Now you can go to the reset. Okay, first of all, please collect your phone or your PC with the Wi Fi. Make note that only 2.4 cannot be 5G. Then, Go to the Wi-Fi list to check here Nerd Miner IP collect it. If you cannot find it, you can also use your camera to scan it. Okay now, you can go to this page. Just connect to this Y Nerd Miner IP here. Then it will jump to the configuration page. Configure Wi-Fi. What Wi-Fi we connected is 816. Input this Wi-Fi 816. And this Wi-Fi password. OK, we can collect the public pool. And its port number. Then here need to input your wallet address which should be start with 1 or 3 or BC1. Paste it. And here input your time zone. In China this is 8. Click it. After all please. Review and check. Whether you have input all the right data then save. After you save it, then check your Wi-Fi list. You can find that the Nerd Miner IP is not here. And please make note that if your Wi-Fi is the same name, but have both 2.4 GHZ and 5 GHZ, then please make sure your phone is always collect with the 2.4 GHZ or if it jumps to the 5 GHZ Wi-Fi, here your nerd miner will not show the data. Here will be 00. zero. Okay now, let me show you how to check the working page. Open the public pool website, input the wallet address you set, show nothing, check the Wi-Fi your computer, phone connecting, GH to Wi-Fi cannot work, connect to 2.4GHz Wi-Fi. You can see its specification here. 2.4GHz Refresh the page. Now you can see the miner we just connected here. The hash rate curve. 